welcome to the Nikki Lima channel where we are once again trying something we have never done before. Today, we are removing hard gels that have been on our nails for eight weeks now. I normally go to the salon every four weeks and I like to do hard gels because they last so long and they have lasted very long, eight weeks in fact. However, they are completely grown out. They're also like super thick boys. So I filed them down from the monstrosities that they were before, but they are so thick that I can't type anymore on my laptop. I can't pick up tiny things. It's very hard. It's like a bobby pin is sitting on the table. Ain't gonna get picked up. It's not gonna happen. I also have a problem opening cans of cat food. So I finally caved and I bought an electronic nail file, which I have never used before and it is so intimidating. We're gonna try that today. I also bought an at-home gel manicure kit. Not hard gel, but just like regular gel, which I also have never used at home before. And I'm terrified. I don't wanna fuck this up. I just wanna do a good job. When I first opened this electronic nail file, I saw that it came with an instructional DVD. I watched the whole thing. I then called my friend Chia, who is an actual nail tech, and she runs a blog called Just Peachy. She's got a lot of really good tips. I was like, help, <laughs> help me. I don't know what I'm doing. I am not qualified. She gave me some pointers and tips, and we're just gonna jump into it and see what happens and you're here and we're all here together and at least you being here gives me some comfort in the fact that even if we fail we will learn together in case you are wanting to attempt this at home you can maybe learn from mistakes or successes right yeah thank you hopefully successes all right let's do this thing hope we nail it <laughs> i don't know so the first thing is, I just took this out of the box, but oh, maybe we should plug it in. I got a variety of nail bits and sanding bands. Maybe just saying the words makes it sound like I know what I'm doing. Okay, this goes here, it looks like. Yes, yes. Brush in it. Here's a plug. Yes, all set up. What does FR mean? For real? Oh, the first thing I did was I loaded a mandrill bit into Oh, excuse you, the top of the file, a legacy, and then I locked it into place. No one's dying today. Then we are going to put a medium grit sanding band. I ordered these off Amazon. I'll put links in the description to all of these. She said to push this on really hard, make sure it's all the way on there. Boom, okay. Now I'm guessing we just, ooh, okay. Ooh, here's the scary part. You gotta go up and down your nail like this. What? Gotta go kind of like up, up and down your nail like, oh, gotta make sure it's parallel to your nail. <laughs> and go up and down like this. Oh, it's getting kind of hot. She said to avoid that from happening. Oh, oh yep, I'm killing it. This is just like the salon, whoa. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it, okay. So I'm kind of like moving my nail so that it's always parallel to the file. <laughs> I don't want to get too far down where it like goes into my nail bed. I wish I could tell like where the hard gel starts and my nail begins. Okay, this is a start. I still think there's a lot left, but I can't really tell. She put a lot on last time I was at the salon. I think it's working. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so proud. We did this. Oh, excuse us. Can I go along the top? Oh, no, don't do that. Don't recommend going on the top. Okay, can I chip any of this off? That's what she does at the salon. She kind of like files it down to a point where she can like kind of chip it off. Does not appear so. No, filing with a regular file after filing with an electric file seems so Amish. Okay, I'm gonna ask my friend Chia. Okay, update. I was able to get the rest of the hard gel off by using this cuticle pusher. It's a plastic cuticle pusher to get underneath the rest of the hard gel and like kind of pop it off, but um, yeah, unfortunately, since it's hard gel, you cannot soak it off, she said. If you have acrylic, you can soak it off, but if you have hard gel, you're just gonna have to keep filing until these motherfuckers pop off. So yay, one nail down. That only took 20 minutes for the one nail. Nine more to go. Here we go. I'm gonna fast forward through this, but hopefully there are no accidents. That sounded like foreshadowing. Pray for me. I was doing nail art on my nails with hard gel, and so she put many layers of hard gel. It would have been a great decision if nail salons were still open because these babies stayed on forever, but it was a terrible decision for a pandemic where you can't leave your house. So. Oh my gosh, this is so thick. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I got an idea. 
I think I'm gonna just go for all of my nails, like get like the main chunks off and then go back in and get the details out. Yeah, that's such a good plan, Nikki. Oh my God, that's such a good. How do you think of like such good plans? I don't know. I just come up with them in my head. I'm also happy like I was gonna drink before this, but really good decision not to. Really stellar decision there. Okay, I'm kind of getting like really good at this. I don't wanna brag, but like. I'm fucking crushing it. As I was filing my nails, I was like, wow, it's so dusty in here. I wish I had one of those masks that my nail tech uses. And then I remembered. We're all at a very interesting time in, in history where we happen to have masks on hand at all times. So there's that. Am I cute? Where were we? Oh yeah, killing it. That's where we were. Let's check on our progress here with this. Shipping off of nails. I don't know. I don't know, man. This doesn't look like it's ever gonna come off. Ugh, wish I had goggles too. Damn. Update. We are going on exactly two hours now of just filing alone. I am not even sure that all of it came off. I really think that this one is still mostly hard gel. But you know what? I don't know if I care anymore. I'm this close to just putting on Lee Press On Nails and calling it a day. But you know what? I committed to this video, so I guess we will press on. <laughs> Did I say I wasn't gonna drink today? <laughs> Step next is that we need to prep the nails for a gel mani application. And that's why I really hope I did get most of the hard gel off. Um, I had one casualty on a, on a cuticle. I accidentally dug into my thumb cuticle and it made a little boo-boo and it kind of hurts a little bit. Other than that, I think we did pretty good. Pretty okay, a little below par and I'm fine with that. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna take a cuticle pusher and lightly push down the cuticles. Again, I'm trying not to push down too hard. I really just don't wanna damage my nail. I can 100% say at this point, I would definitely rather pay somebody to do all of this than do this again. This was a nightmare. A nightmare? Yes. If I continue to do just regular gel nails though, I shouldn't have to use the electronic file very much. And you can soak off the rest. That's the big thing. With regular gels, basically anything but hard gels, you can just soak off whatever you don't get off. But if you do hard gels, oh, oh, you are asking for it. I also made sure to trim my nails down a lot. I was gonna keep them kind of long, but then I realized the last thing I wanna do is get through most of this and then have one of my nails break. I think I might kick something if that happens. I might kick myself. I might just drink an entire bottle of wine and be done for the day. Actually, I think I might just do that anyway, but I still don't want any nails to break, so. This shit took two hours and we haven't even painted anything yet. So much more respect for my nail lady. I miss her. I miss her stories of Nam. Not the war, she just lived there. She has lots of ghost stories from Nam. She's the best. So this cuticle pusher came with these little um, sticky tab things. And supposedly you put them on there and then you buff your nails with them. I've never seen this. Oh, that's kind of neat. Ooh, this came with the uh, gel mani kit that I got. Did I show you? I got this gelish pro kit that comes with cuticle pushers, um, foundation, base coats, nail surface cleanse, pH something, what's it called, pH bond, top coat, and two nail polish colors, as well as the UV light. No, not the UV light, it's, a, it's an LED light. I'll link everything in the description if you're interested. What were we doing? Buffing. Buffy, the bam vampire slayer. I do like what this is doing to the texture of my nails. I've never seen it on a stick like this. I've only seen it on like one of these block square thingies. Our buffing is now done. And the next step, according to this jellish, uh, this jealous soak off kit is pH bonding. So I talked to my friend Chia and she does not think that everybody needs pH bonding. It looks like this, but she said I could test it out on one hand and see if it makes a difference. So I think I'm gonna do that with my right hand since I use it more. Basically, she said you don't really need it unless your hands are really clammy or you have like a moisture issue with just being your nail beds maybe too moist or oily or something. And you need to put it just basically around the outer edges of where your cuticle is. So not the whole nail, but like around here. And then you wait for it to fully dry before you 
put on the base coat. I do remember my nail lady doing this back when I did regular gel nails and I don't know if I needed it or not, but she definitely did it. Next, we're gonna use our light, finally. One pandemic later. What are you? Oh, more plugs. Great. Almost like the one that my nail lady uses at the salon, but it doesn't have the like little door thing. I thought it would have a flappy. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. I'm hoping that this is the easiest part. This is the only part that I do have some experience with, which is painting your nails. I don't know how long you guys have been here, but I did used to have a nail Instagram account called Swag Nails Limo, where I did a lot of nail design. I don't know if I like you. I just know that you bad. Who you driving me crazy? You could drive in that cab. I was obsessed. Yeah, this is not gonna reach. Let's just make sure that we're doing this right. Donde esta la dirección? Shape, buff, cleanse, and prep nail plate. Cleanse? Did I cleanse? Okay, I, one step I forgot is we're gonna nail surface cleanse this beach. I'm so sorry, you're not a bit. I do have some cotton rounds at the ready. My little, yeah. Oh yeah, this is a salon here, okay? If you're gonna order a pro kit off Amazon, then that makes you a pro. And I'm just gonna do a little like that. Oh, that makes sense because we're getting all the nail dust off. Yeah, I like that. I should have done that before the pH bond probably. Should I do it again? Yeah. This is a lot of talking to yourself when you're in a pandemic. Beautiful. Oh my God, we're crushing it still. We're killing it. Okay, so then what did I say? Foundation, yes. <laughs> as a base coat, but uh, Jellish calls it a foundation. This is a thick foundation. It's full ass coverage. It says to cure for 45 seconds. So, let's, you just push this button. Ooh, oops, I hit the edge, sorry. It's so bright. I wish it made a noise like beep, boop, beep. So it feels like you're doing things. <gasps> We are rocking. All right. Okay, both hands have foundation on them and have been cured for 45 seconds each. Next, we're going to start with a color. This part I think is actually quite challenging. I went online to shop for some gel nail polish colors and I had a really hard time narrowing it down. So I have quite a few really cute, really beautiful looking Colors, this is my all-time favorite color of all time. <laughs> Redundancy is very redundant. It's called Stop It, I'm Blushing, and this has been my favorite go-to gel color for like three years, but I try to switch it up. Oh yeah, and then the Jellish kit itself came with two different colors, but I think because summer's coming up and it's already, the weather's changing, I think I'm feeling like something summery. So I think I'm gonna go with this bright coral color. I did really like this blue color too. Maybe next month I'll do that. Do we shake gel colors like you shake normal nail polish colors? I don't know. I shook it a little bit. Yeah, I'm feeling like this was the right choice. You can't take your nails on a tropical beach vacay. You bring the tropical beach vacay to your nails. That's the rules, everyone knows it. I do wish it was a little bit brighter, but I'm feeling like maybe it'll get there with coat numero dos. You know what was a bad choice? Is leaving my hair down. Terrible choice. At least we don't have to wait for these to dry. That's the benefit of doing jail, gel nails. Jail nails it does feel like we're in jail. Coat number two. Let's see if these babies get brighter. A little bit, a little bit. But I will say it is a really pretty spring into summer nail color. Like it's not too bright, but it's not too pastel either. Sometimes I just like to sound like I know what I'm talking about. Both nails have two coats. We could add a third coat, but at this point, I don't want to. I just don't, I'm done. Like I don't want, it's been forever. I'm like 50 years old now. So we're just gonna add the top coat and make sure it gets all nice and sealed. Shanna top coat. Shanna Shanna top coat. And this time I'm actually gonna do it twice just because that's what my nail tech does at the salon that I go to. She has me do the top coat twice. Oh no! Oh no, I had some top coat leak down. Oh shit, it started hardening to the light as I'm talking about it. Okay, now we're definitely going twice. Okay, I can definitely see where I might have spilled over my top coat into my cuticles. I'm gonna try not to do that next time. Maybe I put a wee too much. Sometimes that happens at the salon and they just kind of file it off like this. I'm just copying everything they do. Top coat, done. Now we're gonna take this nail surface cleanse and we are going to cotton swipe it over our nails just like we did before any nail polish. It says it comes with a lint-free nail wipe, but I did not see that in the kit. So I think that's all lies. What they do at the salon? 
and it's like, whoa, how did my nails dry so fast? And you're like, blown away. And then, lastly, but not leastly, we're gonna use some cuticle oil. Some cuticle oil, so maybe our cuticles will not look so janky next time. If we actually took care of them, they might look nice. Generous helping of cuticle nail oil. Kind of rub it in, like a little massage for your little baby nails. Oh my gosh, wow, these actually turned out incredible. I'm really satisfied. I wanted to start simple since I'd never done gel, nail, gel nails at home, but I think next time I might play around with some some nail decal, maybe some chrome. Ooh, 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 some chrome, maybe. And voila, we are done. Overall, I'd say we totally nailed it. I really like this gelish kit. I think we really gel. <sighs> Why do you come here? And overall, I would give this salon uh, an A+. 10 out of 10 time. My nails look great. I, um, I think the wait times on the nail filing could have been shorter, but I know the nail tech was still training, so I'll give her a break on that. I love the color that I chose. It's really pretty. 10 out of 10 would bang again. Would nail it again. Anyway, thank you for being part of my nail journey. I know a lot of you were interested on Instagram when I showed you how crazy my nails were getting, and um, that's what happened. I think there was a huge potential for disaster, and if that was gonna happen, I would have at least wanted it to be on film. Uh, luckily, no disasters happened other than uh, maybe possibly going into my real nail a little bit too much on the nail filing, but we'll talk about that later. And that's that. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'm going to be doing more things that I've never done before on my channel, and I don't want you to miss it in case there are some crazy disasters. Check out my vlog channel if you want up-to-date versions of my life and what's happening, and that's it. Bye! Now to do my toes. Wow. Neglect. <laughs>